What's going on guys? So my sin of the day got me thinking, because uh, I do feature this pretty regularly on the channel. I have done a full review in the past, and now that there's an intense version of this fragrance out, is Mancera Cedrapoise still worth it, still all the hype, and still the best option for starting out your niche fragrance journey? If you're just looking for that one fragrance that can literally do everything, is this still one of the best out there at this point? I want to talk to you about it. Well, stay tuned. First reason that I think Cedrat Boise the original version is still that jam. So first and foremost, this is going to be probably the most important and deciding factor for most people is the price point. From places online, for example, I just recently looked at Aura Fragrance, though they are currently out of stock. When it does come back into stock, they have this for $67. You can find this in a lot of places in the $70 to $80 range. That is below retail for most most 100 ml and 120 125 ml bottles from the designer market and i'm just going to say it right here and now this is a better fragrance as far as terms of quality scent profile likability and performance like i said pretty much across the board for the most part from all those designer fragrances and it does smell like i said a little bit higher quality than all those so price is just a big factor into what makes this so good so popular and kind of a unique fragrance in the space because of what you get for your money this is cheap as far as niche fragrances are concerned and it doesn't smell like a cheap fragrance reason number two is definitely the scent profile how it smells I mean you're getting a variety of fresh citrus and fruits here in the top uh, there's actually a note called fruity notes in this fragrance you're getting lemon you're getting black currant so you're getting fresh citrus mouth-watering fruitiness that's sweet and fresh you get a little bit of tartness from that black currant it's just a beautiful variety the way I've described this many times is picture a wicker basket full of fruits just a variety of different fruits grapes strawberries apples lemon limes oranges and so on kind of smells like just this medley of citruses and fruits and the leather note here isn't too dominant in the fragrance but as it dries down you do get a nice soft leather note that doesn't provide any animalic tones there's nothing challenging about this fragrance and the woody nuances here are just right that's where the wicker basket portion of what i was saying comes into play it's a slightly drier wood type of smell i believe it's cedar that's in this fragrance um, nothing really too musky or too animalic it does get a little touch powdery but nothing that's even really that noticeable to be honest with you you have to look for it it's more about fresh fruity citrus a little bit of sweetness it's got an alluring quality to it it's very magnetic and charismatic it really draws people in the siage on this one is very captivating in my experience for friends of mine for strangers for myself even i love the way it smells i have it on currently the scent profile on this one it's still phenomenal Reason number three, I think, is going to be its versatility because there's never a bad time to wear this fragrance. It literally does not matter what the temperature is outside. Sunny day, rainy day, snowy day. Doesn't matter. It works. You just spray accordingly. If you're going to be in an open area and you want to make more of a statement, you just spray a little bit more. If you're going to be in a more of a confined space, you'd be more moderate with your sprays and mindful of those around you, and you'll still be able to really enjoy the wearing uh, and experience of this fragrance because it's, like I said, it can dress up, it can dress down. This is great with a t-shirt. This is great with an Oxford. This works with a suit and tie. There's literally not a bad situation to wear this fragrance i really believe that i think it's probably the most versatile fragrance i own that's why i'm such an advocate for this i think versatility is on its own level when it comes to this fragrance because it's kind of got this it's known to be a similar alternative and vibe to aventus whereas that's got its own thing going because it's so smoky and you have some floral tones and it's very musky and it's dry down whereas this is just fresh uplifting and kind of 
more of a, a do-it-all, a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none type of thing where it's good for so many different things, but it's not just like that's the one. It's remarkable for that one thing. It's a master of none. That's the point. So versatility, I think, is a very strong point for this fragrance and definitely still a reason to consider this. Next is going to be performance. While you'll hear a mixed bag of opinions because everybody's experience is going to be different, because I have the older style screw cap where it's a more concentrated spray into one area. I don't know how well that showed up on camera, but it's a very direct stream, whereas the newer style magnetic caps have a different pressure sensitive, much more micro atomization style atomizer. So it sprays and divides the mist much more evenly so you can kind of paint it on your skin a lot easier and cover more area more evenly on your skin, whether it's on an arm, neck, chest, wherever you like to spray it, and you're going to get more of the heart note. It opens up that top note even more by a micro atomization. So that's actually probably really what the case is with people thinking it's heavily, heavily reformulated because I have just a few sprays left in my decant of a bottle that's about two years older than this one. And this bottle is like a 2019 bottle, I believe, 2019, maybe 2020. I'm going to say 2020 bottle. Um, and then I had like a 2018 decant. And there's really no difference in the richness and the performance. They both have a magnificent trail because that's the magic in this one. And you can go anosmic to this fragrance. You will get a little bit of olfactive fatigue. So you may not realize how strong it actually is after a little while. The intense version of this fragrance is a huge proponent for anosmia. I go anosmic. It's so strong, I go anosmic within 10, 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, hours and hours later, it'll hit me nice and strong like I just sprayed it. Uh, so this one has kind of a similar thing. I've always gotten in that seven to eight hour range of longevity on my skin before it became a weak skin scent. And when I say weak, I mean very weak to where you know it's there. It's not really doing anything on your skin anymore. It's just kind of there and hasn't fully absorbed into your skin. Uh, that's really kind of consistently what I get in longevity. So if you can get anywhere from six to eight hours on this fragrance for the scent profile, for the freshness, and for the enjoyability of the wear, I think I think it's great. I've had people tell me with newer bottles, even with the magnetic caps with the micro atomizers, that they get nine, ten hours out of it. But I've also had people tell me they get two, three, four, five hours. So my advice in that situation would be secure a decant or a sample because they're all over the place, all over the internet, and try it on your skin. Give it a full wearing, spray it in a few different pulse points and not so, you know, heated spots like the I like to spray the top of my forearms because I know it's not going to burn off as quickly as compared to wrist and inside the elbow, which are pulse points. A lot more heat, so it'll evaporate a bit quicker. Granted, it'll project heavier, but you'll go through its lifespan a lot quicker. So I hit pulse points and non-pulse points, kind of to give that mixed variety. So like I said, it's a case by case basis, but in my experience, above average performer, not a beast mode fragrance, but the performance, especially if you can get it in that 60 to $80 range, like we discussed earlier, it's a superstar in longevity. And finally, I know this is extremely important to a lot of people. Reason number five is the compliment factor for this fragrance. Now, again, just like with performance, it's a case by case basis. Nothing in this world is guaranteed, especially when it comes to somebody telling you you smell nice with whatever fragrance you have on. Any fragrance can get you a compliment. Now, the difference is some are just a little bit better at doing so because they're a more attractive scent profile to more people. Mass appealing is the term that we use for this. This is extremely mass appealing. Uh, I've had many situations where I've had people catch the trail and want to tell me how good I smell. Uh, shout outs to Andre and Anthony. I like to use them as an example from the channel Curly Sense for those of you that aren't familiar with them. For those of you that are, I'm talking about Andre and Anthony from Curly Sense. Um, they smelled this on me and could not stop smelling me and asking me about the fragrance and as soon as they got home, they bought it. And the next time I saw them, they were telling me all the different situations and stories where Anthony got people following him down the street to tell him how good he said, I just wanted to stay in your trail because you smelled so good. It's just nice to hear others' testimonials about the, the amount of compliments they get from a fragrance like this outside of your own. And I just like to use them as an example for that story because I thought it was so funny because... Smelling it on me influenced both of them to want Anthony to have a bottle 
and he's had remarkable success with the enjoyment of the fragrance and people wanting to tell him how good he smells. So shout out to Andre and Anthony. But that's a big thing to a lot of people is, does it get compliments? What do ladies think about it? And I can tell you in personal experience, it definitely gets a high mark for that. But again, there's no guarantee because it all comes down to your entire presentation, not just the way you smell. This is just a small portion of what's going to help to, you know, kind of put you out there in the world for people to want to pay you a nice compliment, whether it's about how you look, the way you carry yourself, a certain situation, how you articulate your words, or how you smell. Fragrances like this obviously have a much higher opportunity and chance at getting you a nice compliment. But again, there's no guarantees. But it's worth mentioning because it's important to a lot of people. The compliment factor on this one is strong. That's my five reasons for thought on why I think even in 2022, even with the intense flanker out now, having been out for several months at this point, most of the year, um, I think it's still worth having. I still think it's the slightly better fragrance to the intense, even though that one's ridiculous in performance. It's a little bit more spicy and animalic. It's more of an enthusiast evening wear type of version to this fragrance. Don't get me wrong, but the magic is still in the freshness of this. You have that magical fresh smell without it just being your typical fresh aquatic that's full of ambergris and aquatic notes and just an overhaul of citruses or maybe some clean musk. This has a lot more character to the scent profile, a lot more going on. The versatility, like I said before, is off the charts and it just checks literally all the boxes in my opinion. So if you were thinking about getting this one, but you were kind of concerned that maybe they've reformulated it again because the intense is out and that's their way of selling it, don't look into it that way. Look at it as I need to secure a sample to see what all this hype is about so I can try it for myself because honestly, what anybody has to say about their experience is just that. It's their personal experience. Your personal experience will vary. It may not be the same as mine. It may be better than mine which I love it. So I hope you can get on the same level with me of Cidrat Boise because I think it's one of the best fragrances out there in the market that you can get your hands on. How many of you are part of the small, honestly, this is a smaller percentage, but how many of you just don't get it? You just don't understand why I like this fragrance so much or why so many others like it and you're just not a fan of it. I mean, that's all's fair. It's an art form. It's subjective. Just because majority like it doesn't mean all like it. You know, and that's definitely the case with this, but majority definitely do. I think it's a great fragrance even to this day. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Strapboise from Mancera, you give it a spray now. Pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.